Dick Powell. Dick Powell was a singer, actor, producer, and director. Born November 14, 1904, in Mountain View, Arkansas, Powell started his entertainment career as a singer. He was signed by Warner Brothers in 1932 and made his film debut as a singing band leader in Blessed Event. He went on to star as a boyish crooner in movies such as 42nd Street, Footlight Parade, Gold Diggers of 1933, Flirtation Walk, and On the Avenue, often appearing opposite Ruby Keeler. In 1944, he abruptly switched to noir detective roles, first starring as Philip Marlowe in Murder, My Sweet. He became a popular tough guy lead, appearing in movies such as Cornered, Johnny O'Clock, and The Tall Target. Even when he appeared in lighter fare, such as The Reformer and the Redhead and Mrs. Mike, he never sang in his later roles. Rogue's Gallery came to the Mutual Radio Network on September 27, 1945, with Dick Powell portraying Richard Rogue, a private detective who invariably ended up getting knocked out each week and spending his dream time in acerbic conversation with his subconscious self, Ugor. Let's listen. I was bending over, looking under a huge Italian carved table when I thought I heard a stealthy footstep behind me. Oh, Don't move. Oh! Oh, my ears were still full of that ringing scream Mrs. Burgess had let out as I caught that sock behind the ear and drifted gently through space toward cloud number eight and my alter ego, Hugo. I was hoping he wouldn't be there, but he was. Sitting there with that silly smirk on his face with his little short legs pulled up under his chin and his funny little arms around them and his long white beard waving the cosmic breeze. <laughs> Hello, Richard. Welcome home. No, shut up. <laughs> That's a fine attitude. You go prowling around a strange house and get caught at it and knocked out. Then you come up here and take it out on me. Get out of here, you ingrate. Oh, stop acting like a landlord, Hugo. What happened to me? <laughs> Are you kidding? Tell me, why did Mrs. Burgess scream? Answer me, Hugo. Do you know why she screamed? <laughs> sure. You going to tell me? <laughs> no. Find out for yourself. <laughs> You're a detective. Oh, someday I'm going to get rid of you, you little pest. <laughs> Why don't you get back to work? You got a date with Liza, you know. She's still waiting. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, here goes. From 1949 until 1953, Powell played the lead role in the NBC radio theater production, Richard Diamond, Private Detective. His character in the 30-Minute Weekly was a likable private detective with a quick wit. In the 1950s, Powell produced and directed several B-movies and was one of the founders of Four Star Television, appearing in and supervising several shows for that company. Powell died on January 2, 1963 of stomach cancer, just one of the many cast and crew members of the 1956 movie The Conqueror, who died of the same disease. The Conqueror had been filmed in Utah near an atomic test site. He is buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery. Powell's first wife from 1925 until 1927 was Mildred Mond. His second wife from September 19, 1936 until 1944 was Joan Blondell, with whom he had two children, Ellen and Norman. His third wife from August 19, 1945 until his death was June Allison, with whom he had two children, Pamela, who was adopted, and Richard Jr. Information for this audio clip came from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, and your audio series descriptions moderator, Roger Hohenbrink. This audio clip is provided by the Old Time Radio Researchers Group, a group of volunteers dedicated to preserving radio's past. I'm your announcer, Doug Hopkinson. <laughs>